Nayagong, Wikipedia article audio. Nayagong, also spelled N-E-I-Kong, Nayagong, or Nayagong, refers to any of a set of Chinese breathing, meditation, and spiritual practice disciplines associated with Daoism and especially the Chinese martial arts. Nayagong practice is normally associated with the so-called soft style, internal or Nyajia A, a registered trademark Chinese martial arts, as opposed to the category known as Wei Gong AA with ring above or external skill which is historically associated with Shaolin Chuan or the so-called hard style, external or WA Ijia AA registered trademark Chinese martial arts. Both have many different schools, disciplines and practices and historically there has been mutual influence between the two and distinguishing precisely between them differs from school to school. Nayagong and the Internal Martial Arts Nayagong and Meditation There is both martial and non-martial Nayagong. Well-known examples of martial Nayagong are the various breathing and focus trainings taught in some traditional Taijiquan, Baguazang, and Zingyiquan schools. An example of non-martial Nayagong is the discipline known as Dayan. The martial art school of Nayagong emphasizes training the coordination of the individual's body with the breath, known as the harmonization of the inner and outer energy creating a basis for a particular school's method of utilizing power and technique. Nayagong exercises that are part of the Nyajia tradition involve cultivating physical stillness and or conscious movement, designed to produce relaxation or releasing of muscular tension combined with special breathing techniques such as the tortoise or reverse methods. The fundamental purpose of this process is to develop a high level of coordination, concentration, and technical skill that is known in the martial arts world as Neogen. The ultimate purpose of this practice is for the individual to become at one with heaven or the Dao. As Zhuangzi stated, heaven, earth and I are born of one, and I am at one with all that exists. Martial Nei Gung is about developing internal power. One way to possibly achieve this is to train particular exercises regularly where the breath is matched with movements of blood or to affect the movement of blood throughout the body. Through these exercises it can be possible to move the blood to a particular area during a particular movement to have a particular result. One of the benefits of martial Nei Gung exercises is the relaxation of blood vessels, nerves, muscles, and sinews to help the body move more freely. With the body moving freely and an excess of blood moving to a particular area with little or no effort, the practitioner can possibly develop many benefits. These benefits may include it is important to understand that anyone looking to learn Nei Gung sincerely, is more likely to learn it from a good teacher of internal martial arts like Xing Yi. It is rare to learn authentic Daoist practices from a true master of the subject as quite a lot of the Nei Gung skills are an essential part of a complete system of martial arts. Nei Gung is not a philosophy but a technique and an art of inner cultivation. There are intellectual guidelines to the practice of Nei Gung, but it is inner work which means effort has to be put in to develop real, substantial, and testable skills. This is not something that can be imagined or talked about, only from direct experience and hard effort can an understanding of Nei Gung develop. A true practitioner and teacher will take you on a journey growing your inner world and showing you how to demonstrate the skills you are developing. This type of practice is said to require concentration and internal reflection which results in a heightened self-awareness that increases over time with continued practice. Nayagong practitioners report awareness of the mechanics of their blood circulation, peristalsis, muscular movement, skeletal alignment, balance, etc. 
what is said to be occurring as the result of continual practice is a type of internal alchemy, that is a refinement and transmutation of the three treasures or Sanbao, in Chinese. The three treasures are known as Jing, Qi and Shen and can be loosely translated as essence, vitality and spirit. According to Daoist doctrine the three treasures can be described as three types of energy available to humans. The Dao De Jing purported to be written by Lao Zi states in Chapter 42 that the Dao gives birth to the One, the One gives birth to the Two or Yin and Yang and the Two gives birth to the Three and lastly the Three gives birth to the Ten Thousand Things, which is all that exists in heaven and on earth. Faster recovery from injury to the hands, an ability to hit with more force, an ability to move faster, the health benefits of being relaxed, an increase in connection to your legs, spine, arms and head, increased stamina, increased athletic ability and health, regulating blood pressure, actually experiencing the channels of the body as they truly are which can possibly be different from the books, developing an authentic Dantian that is consciously nourished and deliberately formed which is not. Defined in the books, greater sensitivity for sparring and fighting.